Dear lovely viewers, welcome to my channel, watch the video till the end. I hope you like it. Pure Chile is your blue sky at the headquarters of the Republican Party far right in the Santiago metropolitan area. Party members concluded their victory celebration by singing the national anthem on Sunday, May 7. The results of the election to the Constitutional Council. A 50-person body responsible for drafting a new constitution were accompanied for two hours by cheers and Chilean flags waving in the air. The far right's victory is indisputable. The party, born in 2019 and bearer of the most conservative project in Chilean politics, has imposed itself as one of the most powerful forces, far ahead of its opponents, with 35.4% of the vote. I am happy. It's a punishment for the left-wing government, which has not been able to understand the needs of the population the fight against insecurity and immigration, said Jose Hidalgo, a 61-year-old teacher from the Republican Party headquarters. He was referring to the issues that worry Chileans most and have fed the growth of the far right, which benefited from the compulsory nature of the vote. Today I feel proud. I hope that this constitution will establish rules against delinquency, said Isidora Gonzalez, a 22-year-old student, who held the flag of her country against her chest. But immigration and crime are issues that are not supposed to feed into the deliberations of the fundamentals of the future constitution, which is supposed to outline the structure of the government and the main principles of a model society. The new text will replace the current constitution, written during Chile's military dictatorship 1973 to 1990. The disappearance of the center. I invite the Republican Party not to make the same mistake that we the left-wing forces made, said President Gabriel Boric on Sunday evening after the results were announced, referring explicitly to the first attempt at constitutional rewriting. In May 2021, a radically different assembly had been appointed 155 people, mostly left-wing and independent. For a year, they worked on a text that enshrined new social rights education, health, housing but it was too progressive, according to critics. The concept of a multinational state, recognizing indigenous populations as nations, had particularly revolted many voters. In September 2022, 62% of Chileans rejected the proposal. A part of the left then conducted self-criticism, admitting that the right and center had not been listened to and included when formulating the new text. When the pendulum of history moves incessantly from one extreme to the other in a short time, it is always the most vulnerable people who lose. Leadership consists in stopping this pendulum movement, Boric said on Sunday evening. Subscribe, English News World YouTube channel for more videos. Don't miss any update. Thanks for watching.